if you're new here or don't pay attention, I usually make videos about pet reptiles, but I've been doing that for like eight years and it gets kind of boring. So we're taking a break and going back to some more online quizzes. I think this is the third video I've done of this. These usually range from tests to see how intelligent I am or like figuring out what I am. For example, which melancholy vegetable matches my personality. Now, unfortunately, I'm very disappointed. Almost every single quiz sent to me was a garbage buzz, buzz, Buzzfeed quiz, but I don't make the decisions around here. The Twitter audience does and they control my life. So we're just gonna jump into it with which part of this tray would you least like to eat? Okay, well, we've got cauliflower, carrots, tomato, broccoli, more carrots, I think, pea pods, and I don't know what that is, but that is pretty good. I'm getting better at my vegetable knowledge. I, I don't know, if the, are these just more tomatoes, but yellow? Okay, I hate tomatoes, they're garbage. I wish they didn't exist. You, I, I endorse euthanizing those who eat tomatoes. Also, cauliflower is okay. I don't really like carrot. Broccoli is my favorite. So this is kind of hard because my favorite and least favorite are touching, but I'd rather just eat the broccoli and throw the tomatoes away. So I'd say the least favorite has, I don't know what that is, so I'm gonna pick this one. How far do you want your vegetables to be from ranch dressing? I already, I, I, I hate this quiz, like a lot. That doesn't even look like ranch dressing, it looks like mashed potatoes. I can still eat it eat vegetables without it. If you were to parachute into the field below, where would you try to land? Um, what does that have to do? Oh, it's a, it's a farm. I feel like just running straight into the trees wouldn't be a terrible method. I'm trying to think if I would rather hit a tree or hit the ground. <laughs> I guess I'd rather hit the ground. Let's go for the greenery. I think it would be the softest. I'm a pensive broccoli. I mean, great. I, I like broccoli, I guess. Can't be upset about that. That was a terrible quiz. Next up, I do not want to have to take this stupid quiz. 16 personalities, three different people sent me this personality test. It takes forever. So it's gonna be trimmed down a lot to get through it. Personally, I kind of see it. I know it's more accurate than like a horoscope, but I almost see it as a horoscope. I I know there's, you can get a bunch of different answers, but this is gonna take forever. Be yourself. Oh God. Oh God, I can't show it up. I'm gonna be myself. Okay, let's go. Social events, no. Exploring unrealistic yet intriguing ideas. Yeah. Travel plans, rough list, yeah. You often think about what you should have said in a conversation long after it's taken place. Yeah, I think everyone does that though. See, like some of these, I just can't imagine anyone saying the opposite, but maybe that's just proof that I'm really that thing. Who knows? If you're finna sad about something, your first instinct is to support them emotionally, not solve the problem. No. People rarely upset you. There's not many people that can upset me, but there's a, like, there's a, a handful that can really upset me. I'd say slightly disagree. I really want to put neutral, but I don't, I'm not supposed to put neutral. So people can rarely upset me. I'll say disagree. 10% done. You rely on other people to be the ones to start a conversation. Yeah, I don't have conversation. Even if they start the conversation, I, who says I'm gonna actually interact with them? Okay, that's probably bad. If you have to temporarily put your plans on hold, make sure it's your top priority to get back on track. No, it's important. To, if your plans change, plans are stupid. Like, that doesn't sound right. Plans are good, but stupid if they no longer apply. You know what I'm trying to say. Really worried if you made a good impression. This is hard because at the peak of my anxiety, it was like, that was all I cared about, but I tried not to. But now, <sighs> I don't really care, so yeah. It would be a challenge for you to spend the whole weekend all by yourself without feeling bored. No, a careful and methodical approach to life. Not really, I'm, I, I do a lot of things impulsively, but I usually don't regret them. So not like crazy, but just disagree. Um, I know what I usually, I've taken this like a year ago and I, I know what I got, but I'm curious if it'll be different this year. Cause I think I've changed a lot in the past year. Still bothered by the mistakes I made a long time ago. No, I think I'm good at not feeling that sort of thing because I, I'm convinced that I usually make the best decision I can in the moment. This is such a wholesome video. You're learning so much. I hate this quiz. Uh, at parties and similar events, you can mostly be found farther from action. I don't go to them. I find it difficult to relate to people who let their emotions guide them. This is an interesting one because I used to be very much so like that, but I've transitioned away from that. Um, the edgy term would be 
red pilling, but that's just cringy, so I'm not gonna say that. I already said it, but just a little bit because I completely understand where it's coming from. I'm looking for a movie you can spend ages browsing the catalog. I mean, I don't watch movies and I don't browse the catalogs. If I do watch a movie, somebody else picks it. So no, because I just watch whatever. Um, doesn't mean I'll like it. Statistically, I'll hate it. I'm so negative. You can stay calm under a lot of pressure. I used to think no, but now I've gotten really good at it. So I'm going to say strongly agree, actually. There's been interesting and interesting stuff happening that I haven't been able to talk about yet, but I'll talk about it in the future where there was a lot of pressure and I look forward to sharing those things. But so far, so good. When in a group of people you do not know, you have no problem jumping right into conversation. No, I jump out of the building, away from them. In your opinion, it's sometimes okay to step on others to get ahead. Oh God, it's told me to be honest for this. No, well, I have to think about what I'm going to say <laughs> before I say it. The problem is everybody has a different definition of what stepping on others is. Like, some people think just having an employee is stepping on them. But, I mean, I've had employees. I still do. I pay them. We agree what their pay is and we agree what they do. But people still say that I'm stepping on them because I'm making money from them working but that's the whole point is you you hire an employee so that you can pay them less than what they make you like that's that's what capitalism is so because the modern definition has become so skewed i'm gonna say slightly agree but i personally don't think i am and i'm sticking with that okay you're dedicated and focused on your goals only really getting sidetracked no my goals change constantly i don't have any i don't know i, I do have goals right now um it's mostly to to get a permanent building like the, the biggest thing on my mind right now every day is permanent place for animals, like nothing to rent, not borrowing space, um, not all spread out in weird space. It's just a solid place to purchase. And that's my current goal and I'm getting close to it. If you make a mistake, you tend to start doubting yourself, your abilities or your knowledge. I no. I feel like it's shallow to say, but I, I don't like, I can think of a handful of mistakes recently, but okay. Actually, I just thought of some. <laughs> uh, when at a social event, you really try to introduce yourself. Why is it assume I go to social events? Oh wait, yes. Okay. You never let yourself cry in front of others. I mean, I'd prefer not to, but I can't really control it sometimes. You feel more drawn to places in a bustling city. Okay, I used to think I would want to live like in the middle of the woods, like it's far away from civilization, like own little farm and stuff. But I learned I like to be on the outskirts of cities and like have quick access to both. So if I could only pick one, I'd pick quiet, but I'll go slightly disagree because I like access to that sort of thing. Uh, and self-sustainability is really good. When it comes to making life-changing choices, you listen to your heart rather than your head. No. I'm thinking of this mostly financially, like life-changing, like say buying a house or a car or investing in something, investing in a company, like a lot of money, because that's just what most recently I've been doing that I can apply it to and sometimes I just really want this thing or really hope this thing to work out but it, it's not necessarily going to work out just because I want it to so disagree. Usually prefer getting your revenge rather than forgive. Oh no. Oh no. So what's been going on is my neighbors really hate us like severely hate us to the point that they've been trying to get us kicked out of the neighborhood for over a year. And I, one of the only reasons I'm sticking with it is because I want to spite them as much as possible. And I do everything legal and safe and obvious that completely gets under their skin and it is so satisfying. You have to make decisions on a whim. Yeah, I impulse buy stuff. I impulse rented a house and impulse bought a car. The time you spend by yourself often ends up being more interesting and satisfying than the time you spend with other people. I 100% would have agreed all the way with this. In fact, when I used to take this quiz when I was younger, I would get about 98% introvert. Like I'd usually answer one question that's just barely not introvert. I think this is the first time I'm saying slightly disagree uh, just because being in a relationship changed that a little bit, believe it or not. You often put special effort into interpreting the real meaning of, see, I don't like music or movies that much or there's a lot of this that just doesn't apply to me. You always know exactly what you want. No, I have no idea. Like I make a lot of content on other platforms about like 
say money making, for example, I've made videos on it here and it's not that I have an obsession with money, believe it or not, but it's just money is the best resource you can have in the United States. Like money can buy you almost anything. And so since I don't know what my exact goals are and don't know exactly what I want, um, acquiring as much money as possible is a great way to do it by like leveraging your money, increasing your wealth, growing your net worth. People that are like all about wealth, it's really annoying and really irritating. But at the same time, I think that's a problem is be because then people avoid talking about it and avoid growing it when it's ridiculously beneficial. And you don't have to look like some wealthy snobby person. You can care about your finances without doing that. I'm going way too in detail with these questions. But basically the point is once I have stuff that I'm interested in or stuff that I'm really passionate about or a project I wanna start, I have the assets there that I can either liquidate or sell and just turn into the resources that I need. So like, say you put a bunch of money into the stock market with companies that you trust and that money slowly builds over time and then all of a sudden you have this own company that you wanna start and you happen to profit from those, sell out, start that, you take that money and start your company, which is very powerful to do. And uh, yeah, I actually recently sold out a 20% of my portfolio um, just so that I can invest it in a project that will be happening soon. So you really think back on the choices you made and wonder what you could have done differently. No, I think back all the time. Um, I don't regret them necessarily, but it's very helpful for figuring out what to do next. So in a public place, you usually stick to quieter, less crowded areas for sure. I guess everyone does right now, but I think it's very hard to live in the present. I'm not very good at it. So I think it's good to do both. Um, obviously I should say what I do and not what I think, but I think I, do that as well. You often have a hard time understanding other people's feelings. See, when you when you say you're antisocial, usually it's kind of a joke, but I legitimately don't talk about people's feelings with them other than a very select few number of people. Oftentimes I do have trouble. I, tr I do my best to listen and talk about, but it is hard sometimes. When starting to work on a project, you prefer to make as many decisions up front as possible. No, I, no. Because if you do that, you have no idea what's gonna happen next. Like. I think that's a terrible idea. Um, like I tried to write out a business plan one time and it just, it completely went different. I think it's fine to write out a business plan, but I think people focus on that too much. You just gotta start doing it and see how it goes. We know someone thinks highly of you, you also wonder how long it'll be until we go, oh, no. I don't like that I think this to myself so often, but I really do, <laughs> especially online. That question makes me the most sad so far. You feel comfortable just walking up to someone and find you find interesting and striking up a conversation. I wish, but no. Baby steps, but I haven't taken any steps yet. I'm still a fetus. 70% done. We got 30% bar. Can we do it? <laughs> Daydreaming, yes. Look after yourself first, others come in second. I think I usually try to do that. And I feel like that's, I used to see that as a negative, but I realized realistically you should you should do that. When you have a planned daily routine, you usually just end up doing what you feel like. Yeah, I wasn't gonna film this video. I was supposed to be working right. I mean, I am working, but I was supposed to be working on other stuff right now. Uh, that did not happen. Your mood can change very quickly. I am wondering, I might actually consult someone about this. It's like concerningly quickly. Um, you often contemplate the reasons for human existence and the meaning of life. I used to, but I don't focus on it anymore. I don't really care. You often talk about your own feelings and emotions. I mean, I am in this video, but I don't usually. To who though? Like publicly, no. But to people personal to me, yeah. So I guess I do. You have detailed education and career development plans stretching several years into the future. Education, no, I just gave up and left. I don't really have any career development plans. It's basically just diversify. That's the word you'll hear a lot if you watch content on like working for yourself is diversifying your revenue. So like YouTube used to be 100% of my income and now it's like 60%, but you wanna spread. This isn't related at all, but yeah. Wait, no, but I don't. I kind of do. You rarely dwell on your regrets. I'm, I've gotten better at this. You see yourself as a realist more than a visionary. What is a visionary? Thinking or planning the future with imagination or wisdom. I think I have a very healthy mix, but realistically, I'm a little bit more of a realist. You find it easy to empathize with a person who has gone through something you never have. I try to, but I really just have trouble with it. So I'm being honest, I disagree kind of a lot, but I still try to 
at least listen. Your personal work style, style is close to spontaneous bursts of energy. This is extremely true. What I have to do is I bulk record content, basically. I call them video moods. If I'm in a, or filming moods, if I'm in a filming mood, I shoot as many videos as physically possible in a row because the next week I will not be able to shoot anything. I just recently, last week, I tried to shoot a leopard gecko video, a different one that you haven't seen because I deleted it. <laughs> it was terrible. I just... You could just, you can tell when I'm very different in videos. Um, so yeah, I have to, I learned to work with it though. So if you're like that, don't worry. You can, it'll be hard if you work somewhere with like nine to five hours, but if you work for yourself or if you say it's like with homework or something, you could definitely take advantage. Like if you have a week's worth of homework, just do it all in that burst and do none of it any of the other times or just don't do any homework. But you might need, you might need a, a high school diploma, depending on what you want to do. Your emotions control you more than you control them. Okay, a year ago it would have been this. A few months ago it would have been this. Right now it's this, and I'm hoping it'll get like here within a year. I'm getting better. After a long and exhausting week of part, shut, sh I'm, I almost said a, I almost said a mean word. Shut up, is what I was gonna say. You frequently find yourself wondering how technolo tech technological advancement could change everyday life. For sure. You know Neuralink, Elon Musk's chip in your head? I would love to sign up to be a beta tester. This is me saying that. If beta testing opens and I am eligible and I can do it, I will put the chip in my head and I would love to film it. If the government came out with a chip in your head, no. <laughs> but if Elon Musk, I'm a little Musk simp. You still honor the commitments you have made? No. Commitments are stupid. You rarely feel insecure. Highly disagree. Oh, that's it. That went by pretty fast. Let's see my results. INTP. That's completely different than what I INTPT. I don't know what the T is. First off, we got introverted. I've gone from 98% introverted to 92% introverted. Look at me go. It's not like I've accomplished anything. Um, extroverts can be pretty heckin' annoying. Energy. I am 60% intuitive. I'm very almost down the middle. Verse, intuitive versus observant. I don't really know what that means, honestly. I'm a little more thinking than feeling. It used to be 51% this way, so I'm a little more thinky. I am very prospecting versus judging. And I am more turbulent than assertive. Yeah, let's read about me. I'm a log logician. Oh my gosh, I'm like Albert Einstein. You can tell by my big brain intelligence. <laughs> oh God. Okay, the logician, I can't even say it, logician. Personality type is fairly rare making up only 3% of the population. I'm so fancy. I used to be an INFJ. First, I was an INFP. P and J are usually the one that I was like straight down the middle on. Um, and then I was an INFJ, and then I was always INFJ when I did it. And now I'm an INTP, apparently. So logicians pride themselves on their inventiveness and creativity, their unique perspective and vigorous intellect. Okay, that's not accurate at all. I think I'm good at marketing. I would say that's a way of creativity inventiveness like i'm not very good at coming up with ideas necessarily but i think i'm good at building ideas like not stealing other people's ideas but um say on the site we're selling a bunch of like we're selling isopod kits now you can check it out emeraldscales.com slash invertebrates i think just go to emeraldscales.com and we now sell a ton of insect stuff i didn't make any of those products like alice made all those and so my job is basically photograph them market them and get them to sell and um, honestly, I didn't really have to do anything. They're all just selling themselves because they're really good products and I recommend them. But in other cases, I think that I'm good at building ideas, but not necessarily coming up with them because I have a lot of failed ideas. They left patterns and spotting discrepancies between state. I said a big word with no hesitation and no stuttering. Look at that. Between statements can almost be described as a hobby, making it a bad idea to lie as a logician. See, this is the kind of thing where I feel like this is 100% me, but it also feels like a horoscope because I feel like anyone could apply themselves to that. Like, oh my gosh, I love patterns. Yeah, that's part of being a human. Humans naturally love patterns. So um, it's not that they're dishonest, but people with a logician personality type tend to share thoughts that are not fully developed. <laughs> I think this is actually very, I'm impressed. Say on Twitter, I say, what I, what I used to do is I would just write something and tweet it. Whatever came to mind, I would write it and tweet it. Now what I do is I put them all into drafts and I just have drafts. I, I end up drafting more tweets than tweeting now, mostly to protect my brand because I unfortunately do need an income. But I, believe it or not, I have a very strong online filter. This may make them appear unreliable, but in reality, no one is more enthusiastic and capable of spotting a problem, drilling through the endless factors and details that encompass the issue and developing a unique and viable solution that logicians just don't expect. 
That's a really long sentence. Just don't expect punctual progress reports. I really like that. I think that's very accurate. And I don't, I don't mind being called that. Again, I feel like it's just trying to hype me up. Where's the negative stuff? Usually it has a negative section. People who shed litters and type aren't interested in practical day-to-day -day activities and maintenance. I would lose a job so fast. Like if, if YouTube was deleted, I would try and apply to Amazon because I really want to see what the warehouses are like. But say I was making videos or editing or something for a corporation or a company, I think I'd get fired because I'm so inconsistent. If you want to keep reading, just check out INTPT and let me know what your personality trait is. There's only 3% of us. I'm so fancy. <laughs> We're going from that to what kind of garbage are you? Pick a rainbow. What is this? I like the simple rainbows. It's just stock images. Pick a baby. That is a weird looking baby. I feel like that one looks closest to me. Pick a ray of sunshine. Who sent me this stupid quiz? Pick a trash bag. I like the industrial ones. I am a pizza bot. What did I just take? I hate BuzzFeed so much. Almost all the rest are BuzzFeed. I'm a pizza bot. You're an empty pizza box. There might even be a little pizza in you. You're a good omen. Shut up, BuzzFeed. Next up, am I pregnant? Quiz. <laughs> what method of birth control are you using? I don't use birth control while filming videos, so I guess none. This is so stupid. Okay. When's your next period do? Personally, I've never had a period, so I do not know. <laughs> oh no, is that part of being pregnant? Have you noticed any changes to your breasts? No, they're fine right now. Everything seems normal. So I guess that's a good thing. Uh, have you been feeling sick recently? I've actually, been, my, my tummy has been very, God, I said tummy again. People make fun of me every time I say tummy. My stomach, cause I'm a big boy, has actually been in a lot of pain recently. <laughs> um, wait, is that bad? It probably is. So how are your energy levels? I've been so tired like all day and I've been sleeping a lot. I think I've been oversleeping. If you're likely to feel unusually tired, you are likely, oh no. Am I actually gonna get I'm pregnant? <laughs> I've been going to the bathroom to urinate more often than normal. No, this has been normal. So I'm good, I'm good. I'm not gonna be preggers. Recently it's been a roller coaster and I know that's a, this is not fair because these can apply to so many things, not just pregnancy. Please don't tell me I'm pregnant. Am I gonna have to get a test? Have you noticed any changes to your appetite? My appetite's been normal, but I've been trying to eat more so that I gain weight. So it's been normal. Find out your results. Based on your answers, there's a chance you might be pregnant. Find out for sure by taking a pregnancy test. Oh God. Oh God. Uh, I can't believe I just took that. How epic are you? Should Alex play Roblox? Do you want Alex to play Roblox? Yes, yes. Is Alex going to play Roblox? Yes, yes. <laughs> I'll assume the second one's a typo because usually the second one is no. Is that the entire quiz? I got two out of two correct. I don't like most of you people. Favorite Pokemon picker? This is, these suck. These quizzes suck. <laughs> what kind of bean are you? Are you a lima bean or a black bean? Let's find out in this quiz. Someone spit the time. On this exact day, four years ago, trying to decipher what kind of bean people are. Do you like beans? Who doesn't like beans? Beans are pretty good. What's a bean? No one likes beans. Beans are all eat. I like beans. Well, since beans are pretty high calorie and stuff, I don't know if they're high calorie. Since they're very healthy, I try to eat a lot of black beans. Like anytime I get Chipotle, I always get black beans. I don't even like them that much, but I don't mind them. So they're pretty good. I only like black beans though. I hate all the others that I've had. What's your favorite Starbucks drink? I usually get, well, I don't actually get Starbucks anymore, but it's actually exactly what I get a venti caramel frappuccino. How old are you? Zero to 56. <laughs> They assume, there's a higher like they think there's a higher likelihood of a one-year-old taking this quiz than a 57 year old when you walk into a club you are down to you are down to clown like a kidney bean dancing like a black bean a literal lima bean a jump and jelly bean a chickpea not at the club <laughs> okay which ml bean t 
team do you support? MLB, is that basketball? I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know, actually, I'm not actually sure what MLB is. I got Pinto Bean, I hate Pinto Beans. I hate this quiz, and I hate... I love you. Oh my god, which... Chef Boyardee Pasta are you? It's just getting, it's legitimately, it can't get worse. I didn't think it could get worse, and look at what we got. We got the which Chef Boyardee product are you? Okay, I'm sorry to interrupt, but I'm editing this right now, and I just noticed the two advertisements I got on this BuzzFeed site. One is for Tesla wheels, and the second one is for Princess Bubble Butt enamel pins. I, I am aware that I like Adventure Time, and I'm aware that I'm allowed to Google basically whatever I want, but I swear on my life I did not search for Princess Bubble Butt enamel pins. <laughs> What's your favorite? I hate pasta with a passion. Lasagna disc- I- Almost gagged thinking about spaghetti. When I when I see spaghetti, I love the smell of pasta. It smells amazing. I hate the smell of Italian seasoning, but pasta smells so good when it's cooking. I'm gonna actually throw up. <laughs> this is terrible. Am I scared of pasta? <clears throat> when I eat spaghetti, all I can think of is just like consuming a big ball of tapeworms that are just wiggling down my throat. Beefaroni, no thanks. Ravioli, ravioli. What's in the pocket? Oli, I gotta pick that one. Pick a new name for your mom. Susan the Helen, Spaghetti Queen Johnny. Does BuzzFeed think they're funny? They're not. Let's just go Helen, because I'm basic. What's your favorite number? My favorite number is three, but it's not there. We got two, four, one, three, seven. I'm in 137. And one million three hundred sixty-two thousand and four hundred and eighty. Is that a serial number? What is that? I'll go two. What's your zodiac sign? I don't know. I'm the fish. I think that's Pisces. When was the last time you went to the dentist? Hmm. I think about eight months. I, I know you're supposed to go twice a year. I go about once a year. But I have, excuse me, I'm drinking too much liqueur. I have really good dental hygiene. It's one of my favorite parts of the day, in fact. What's your favorite pasta sauce? They're all disgusting. I'll say marinara. I am beef ravioli because I'm basic AF. I'm an INTP and, and beef ravioli. We did it. We took the quizzes. We learned I am an INFTP or something. We learned that I am broccoli and a lima, no, a pinto bean. This was the most unproductive episode of my life and I hope that you learned nothing because I didn't and I don't want you to gain more from this video than I did. If you want me to take more online quizzes, don't let me know because I don't care. I'm gonna do them anyway. Um, but you can let me know what you think of the video in the comments and maybe I'll read it. If you're lucky, maybe I'll even delete it. <laughs> um, th that's it for this video. If you wanna check out the other quizzes, check them out. At Emerald Scales, we've got some cool products. At Emerald Scales. That's, that's... <laughs> I just completely slurred. That's it for this video. I'm Alex.